G'day guys, Chad here, your resident pit master and backyard barbecue expert. Today I'm back with more tips, tricks and recipes to help you become a real hero around the barbecue and the campsite. Look at these beautiful Aussie lamb shanks. You can't beat Aussie lamb. We've chucked them in the baduri. We've given them a low and slow treatment straight on the campfire. Kick back, have a coldie and enjoy. And I'm gonna take you back and show you how easy it is to do. All right, so super simple stuff. Uh, we've got a few lamb shanks, that's our main ingredient obviously. Um, some mushrooms, herbs and spices, tomato paste, chopped tomato, um, some chicken stock as well, a bit of olive oil to get us searing off, um, a little bit of red wine which we'll test out a bit later as well, love a bit of red. Um, some corn flour if we need to thicken. Um, so it's a really good thickening agent uh, when it comes to camp oven cooking. So if you're doing stews, soups, things like that, that's a must have in the pantry. Um, we've also prepped a bit of veggies that we're about to brown off, so um, let's get that done. So the baduri's been on the fire now for a little bit. We're not direct flames, just some coals here. We're gonna sear these lamb shanks off um, and give them a really nice color. That's nice and hot, as we can see. Beautiful, that's what we're after. That's right. So the reason right. we're browning these off is just to seal those juices in, keeping the meat nice and moist. We're not losing any of those precious juices throughout the cork. All right, so those are pretty well seared off now, I think. So we'll remove these from the heat, get the smoke in the eyes, never get used to it. Been cooking over live fire forever and I'd never get used to smoke. Now the beauty of the, uh, the Baduri oven here is not only does the lid act as a fry pan, it can also you know, use it for anything pretty much. We're gonna leave those there for the moment. So we'll leave the baduri on to get hot and we'll get those veggies done in here now. All right, so we'll sear off all our veggies. We've got a bit of onion and carrot here, I've pre-chopped. Bit of garlic, our mushrooms, a bit of salt, and a bit of pepper. Right, we'll work on giving them a bit of a knock around, get them browned up. It's gonna give off really nice aromas. So I'm happy with that. Those are softening up really nicely. We've got a lot of good colors happening here. Really nice smells coming off it. We'll add a couple of tins of tomato. Just any old stuff will do. The diced tomato is what we're after. Some chicken stock. That smoke is killing me. Oh, I'll just have a cry over here. Give me a second. Oh, here we go. Of course, a bit of the uh, beautiful Shiraz. Good stuff. About a cup of that. Now we want to let that boil now, so we want to boil the alcohol out um, and reduce that a little bit before we return our shanks to the stew. All right, so we've let that come up to the boil and I've just moved things around to get down to a bit of a simmer here. So we've burnt off that alcohol in the wine. We can add our lamb shanks now. Just chuck them in there. And we'll just give it a bit of a turn and a knock around as well as we cook. But I think that looks pretty good. So the coals we're working with today aren't so hot, so I can probably leave that like that for now, but if you're working with really hot coals, uh, you probably want to rotate, maybe even utilize a little less. I'm going to throw a few on top of the lid as well, uh, but now we've got all our ingredients in, we can re replace that lid. So we'll just chuck a couple of these coals on top. We're getting heat distribution all the way around the cooker now. We don't want to just have the bottom stewing away. So by doing this, we're creating an oven effect. And the beauty of it is, we've got that nice big lip on the baduri as well, so we're not getting any ash or coals in there either. Giving it a turn every now and then, adding fresh coals to the top as needed. Now that's been simmering on the coals now for a good two and a half to three hours. You beauty. Now, I am hungry. These smell whew, something else. I'm excited. Everyone loves lamb shanks. If you don't, you're nuts. Let's have a look. Ooh. Mm -mm. That is the business. We do not need to thicken that sauce in any way. You can use the corn flour to do it if you need to, but we can already see that's a really, really nice sauce look at that bone just falling straight out of the meat chuck a bit of this stew on the top 
Just the veggies and sauce. You ready for this, guys? Unbelievable. Beautiful, tasty, tender, tomatoey. Those flavors just rolling on through that cut of meat, just like Nana used to make. All done on the Baduri oven, the fire, super simple. Bit of practice, you got this, enjoy. For more tips, tricks, and secrets on how to become a backyard barbecue master or a camp cooking legend, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And keep in touch with all things Adventure Kings on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can get all the gear at forwarddrivesupercenter.com.au.